an unusual year for lamb's quarter production. Much. Just an awful lot of lamb's quarter. И инокуляцию, кстати, съедает у него кто-то мотылек какой-то. Это уже, уже улетел, похоже. They like uh, wet, moist environments. Им нравится как раз такая влажная. So heavy residue, you see more slugs. And normally, you know, with the strip, they have to cross that couple inches of bare ground. And if the sun is out, they won't risk it. Но стриптил тоже хорошо для вот борьбы с этими улитками, потому что им приходится идти по сухой, они не любят сухую землю. Семена обрабатывают бактериями. Сами делают или уже покупают семена обработанные? We buy it treated. We used to do it ourselves. Раньше сами делали, но. You know, you gotta wonder why. Yeah. 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 А когда дата, дата, когда приблизительно? Сои, сои beans. Would have been this here probably would have been around the May 18th. Вот такая. Резобием японику. 18 мая почти. And see, and that's three trifoliates at this time is typical. Mm -hmm. you know, uh, earlier planted stuff, you'd probably you'd get some four. Mm -hmm. do, do European corn bar oh. in the corn. Let's see. Ah, we have. 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 Ah, we gets into the ear, you know, through uh, the world. Хлопковая совка называется. Повреждает гусеница. The, uh, right, it's the, uh, and, but the typically, drop, right? typically what the worst uh, part of it is, is that, that sec if you have a lot of first generation, you know, they're going to be boring through the plant, uh -huh. yes. opening up avenues for disease. Yeah. Okay? Uh -huh. То есть они, первое поколение, да, гусеница, она повреждает зернышки и открывает канал для всяких болячей. Да, да, да. Да, у нас этой технологии нет. Мы с ним боремся с помощью инсектицидов, несколько обработок, серьезные инсектициды, фосфор органические. О, правильно? Да. Фусариум. Последний раз, когда мы имели инфестацию, до того, как мы имели БТ корн, 1996. And we had to aerially applicate 
you know, for every every corn acre that we had because the infestation was so great. How much did you duplicate per acre? Oh, uh, gosh, what is it? That granular pounds. It's only a couple. Gosh, I don't know. Oh, no. It's like a couple ounces per acre. Mm -hmm. or, what, what, right, what, what, what is it? Uh -huh. You know, it's like pounds is, is what they used at the time, yeah, but it was on it was on the sand particles. Yep. And they would all fall into the whirls where the larvae were and it would kill them. It would be instant. <laughs> but the, the, point, the, the point of the discussion is, is that um, typically uh, leading up to that, when we had uh, good germplasm that naturally uh, uh, defeated or in other words the corn borer did not prefer a lot of the pioneer corn that we grew back then in the 90s mm -hmm. 80s and 90s 70s 80s and 90s it were more resistant to corn borer than mm -hmm. some of the other varieties and when we uh, when we got into test plots it would take a, in uh, in the later 90s it would take uh, a BT product from some other company <coughs> to be able to match or stay with a Pioneer product that was not iron deficient. deficient? Mm, so Pioneer had a product which was yeah. almost as right. good, right? Oh, well, I'd say it would not, they had been naturally selected for it. Oh. Пионера, и получилось так, что пионер вывел такой гибрид, который давал результат настолько резистентный, насколько они добывались, ну, как бы, такой же хороший результат давал, как после вот этого убийства. Мы знаем это. Да, увидел, да. yeah. Так, скажи, скажи это, вот эта соя, вот по его меркам, это хорошая, выше средней, ниже средней, плохая или очень хорошая? How do you evaluate your own field? Is it good or bad or excellent? Or... This field? Да. Yeah. This is okay. Uh, none of our soybeans look that great this year. A normal year, this would be kind of a bummer. Какая она высотой будет вот перед уборкой? Сейчас, ну, говорят, что это в этом году считается неплохо, потому что если был хороший год, то это была плохая сая. Высота перед уборкой какая? So how how tall is it going to be before harvesting? Oh, it'll probably get up. Oh, okay. Okay. When are you going to harvest? What month? It'll, it will probably be sub, late September, early and October. October. Uh, throughout all our years of growing soybeans, we had such uh, a situation like this in the last year. Oh, yeah. And Kirill even had higher solar, but usually we have less. No, I've, I've seen uh, in the drought year of 1988, we had some very low ground. Uh, that was... Uh, that was very fertile, but it had... It had uh, plants that stood about this tall. Yeah, which fertilizer did you apply here? Yes, we, it was a mixture of a dry fertilizer of, of uh, phosphorus and potash. And a little bit of uh, ammonium sulfate. The uh, potash has uh, the boron infused in it, and the phosphorus has the uh, that mosaic product that has uh, zinc and uh, sulfur. Uh, yep. <coughs> So, so then you're just treating at different times. And do they do that aerially, or, or do, how do they do that with? Uh, are they applying with an irrigator? Or how? Okay. 
just use a ground ground sprayer. Use a ground? Technologies. That's the one that uh, patients always have is BT uh, corn borer. Well, look at the corn player. Yeah. 